All right, so I'm just gonna run through a little bit of the stuff we did with her yesterday. So I did uh, the desensitizing, we did desensitize the rope, and we did desensitize the whip and desensitize the sound. So we're gonna work, I'm just gonna review those real fast before I move on to the next lesson, which will be uh, round penning her. So I'm just gonna start back on that left side and, and kind of see how she is. And now, I mean, she's off the track and she's had a couple rides off the track. She's been in a barn. But I do want to just make sure she's like, you know, safe to handle. She's got some rain rot and some scratch scratches and scrapes and everything. And I need to take care of those. I just want to be safe in doing so and just make sure she doesn't have a problem with me being around her. And this is where it starts. So it's going to kind of go over and get into position here. So I'm going to stand parallel to her shoulder, give her plenty of slack. She wants to move, but I still have control of her head. And we're just going to try again. And that's a much better reaction, so that's good. There, she blinks, so I'm just gonna stop. Very cool. So, um, it seemed like <clears throat> it's kind of stuck. She's getting a little worried there. Flinching a little bit, but she's thinking through it. I'm trying to be smooth with my whip. There, there we go. So she's thinking through it, this is good, because some horses will go back and they'll uh, kind of just revert without the consistent um like consistent repetitive training for a few days or a few weeks even it just kind of depends but she's seems like she's got got this under control so she's kind of thinking about moving but i don't think she's super um worried there she blinks so i'll stop and she's doing pretty good so i'm just gonna run through her body real fast make sure we got all our systems go She blinked her eyes, so I'm gonna stop. Cool. So I did withers, back, hindquarters, hind legs, front legs. She's cool with that. Do her neck. She's cool with that. Do kind of a little bit of her head without smacking her in the face. And she's cool with that. I think she's just got some bugs on her. Okay, so left side's good. Just gonna change sides so you guys can see. And we're gonna do the same thing here. She's cool with the withers. So I'm kind of letting my rope slide like that. So it doesn't smack her, but I'm still there. That's good. She blinked, take it off. But I still got this slack. So she wants to run like she did yesterday. She can kind of move out, but I still have control of her. So she doesn't panic and run by and kick me or do something crazy. Still want to be in control. Okay, so she's cool with the back. Get down further by her hips here. I'm staying parallel to her shoulder. I don't want to get too close to her hindquarters. Okay. Hindquarters seem good. She's not flinching. There, she blinked her eyes, so I'll stop. Pause for a minute. And we'll get on to the hind legs. She's got a couple of cuts on her hind legs. I'm not sure what she was doing. There, I'm going to stop because she snorted and blew her nose. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. So I have electric fence, so I don't know what happened, but she's not looking so pretty on this side. She's got some rain around we gotta take care of today. So, But this is just safety first. Like I gotta make sure I can be up here, I can touch her, and I wanna do this first because now I'm at a safe distance. I'm not up there underneath her. Cause yeah, I wanna take care of her, but I wanna not die as well. So, okay, neck looks good. I'll toss it by her head a little bit and we'll move on. And she seems cool. Toss it over her back like it would be a saddle. And she's cool with that. Okay, perfect. So that's awesome. Super improvement from yesterday. Um, that was the only time I ever worked on it. This is her second time ever. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to kind of bend her nose, tip her hind end. There we go. I don't mind her wandering. I just would like her to just stop. So move on to the whip. Same, same deal. Stand here, parallel. And I'm gonna add in a little bit more of that cracking sound. Good girl. So she's low on her head, but she's more relaxed. She's doing it slower. She's licking and thinking and blinking and doing all kinds of great stuff. So that's perfect. Okay. She doesn't seem too worried, so I'm gonna kinda go through it a little bit faster. There she blinks, so I'll stop. Remember, I'm not gonna just take it away because her head goes down. Because that can be a reaction and she's still tense. She's still holding that tension. 
the blinking is the really where you want to be looking. So she's going to move and wait. There she stopped and she blinked. So I'll stop. And she's just a little confused sometimes about the whip. I don't know what she's been doing in the past. So I'm just adding in some of that. Perfect. Adding in some of that cracking noise or the whip noise, which she's probably pretty reactive to. Bender, I want her to change direction. Um, since she was raced quite a bit, um, I think she had like 40 some starts, something like that. Um, so that's why yesterday I think she had the issue with the sound. She wasn't really sure what to do. So there we go. She blinked. I'll stop. And I'm not giving her any treats now because she just seems like she's she's doing it well on her own. The, three, the treats are just incentive to learn and she seems like she's doing that good by herself today. Perfect. So I'm just stopping when she's blinking because she's not flinching and she's not moving. So this is the third sign of relaxation. She can bend her head, head away if she wants. I'm not super worried about that. If she wants to move, that's fine. She stops. She's just uh, just moving for the sake of moving. <laughs> I don't think she's super worried. I'd just like her to hold still for me. Okay, and then I'll stop when she stops and then I'll start again. She's probably just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Makes no sense. So add in a bit of that rope whip sound. Okay, now she wants to move, so I'm gonna keep going and then I'm just gonna kinda tip her nose toward me. There. Alright. Same place I was at. Bit of that noise. Yeah, that noise is what's making her go. She's not like um, she's not like super reactive to it, but she's got a little bit of fear in there. Good. Yep, that's, that more sound is the thing that's really worrying to her. I mean, she didn't look that worried, but I don't want her to, this is, the movement is a worry. So like, Anytime like they feel threatened, their first thing is to move. So I'm just gonna keep going and I'm just gonna bend her hindquarters away like that. There, and I'll stop. Might have to add in some positive reinforcement here. Let her think about it. So she's kind of twitching that lip now. So that's what she was doing yesterday and she seemed kind of worried and kind of nervous and she'll start moving that lip and that's probably like a track vice. Rhett has a similar one. I think it's just from being stalled. I'm not 100% sure, but um, he'll do that and he'll stand over the gate and he'll just like chew on his jaw and he'll just move it back and forth really weird and he does that when he thinks he's not going to be fed <laughs> on time. So I have like noticed with both of them they have weird things like that that the other horses don't have. Okay, so she's, that was a bug, not really this. So that sounds kind of setting her off again, which is something we're going to have to work on. So I'm allowing this rope to slide through my hand because she's nice and bent. She's got her hindquarters away. I'll let her move. That's fine. There. So she transitioned down, so I'll stop. But you can tell that makes her nervous. And it didn't seem to really make her nervous on that other side. So, and she's got that lip moving. She's kind of twitching, like nervous energy, kind of. So, just try again. She thinks she needs to move around. That's fine. I'm going to tell her she doesn't need to do that. That's not really necessary. But this is kind of killing two birds with one stone here because eventually I'd like to lunge her um, while I desensitize her at the same time. So she's kind of getting that done at the same time because I usually do it at a standstill and then I'll do it and just bend in her. Then I'll do it at a movement. Yeah, it's terrifying. I'm just going to let her go. I'm not really pulling on her. I'm just making sure she's got her nose tip so she's not running into me or getting her butt too close. 
I don't, I don't want her to do this, but I'm not going to be like, pull on her and, and trap her. Let her move. Just trying to keep the same rhythm, keep the same place on her. And I'm going to bump, kind of be like, hey, let's, let's yield those hindquarters. Let's, there. So I'm going to cluck and reward. Ooh, she's making me dizzy because she slowed down. So I'm like, yes, relax. Because she's, she was fine that whole time where I went and desensitized with the rope, desensitized with the, with the whip on the other side. She was cool. Then she kind of fell apart. So I need to bring that positive reinforcement back in and be very clear to her what it is I want. Yeah, it's okay. Give her a second. Chill out. There. She's releasing all that tension. Okay, so I'm going to start again. I know, it's terrible. I'll let her go around. She'll figure it out eventually. So she's not running as fast. So that's good. I'm letting that rope slide through my hand. So she's slowing down. That's good. I really want to wait till she stops here because I don't want her to think that running around is what I want. But I was trying to get a starting point, but I might have to use that again if she's not gonna offer it. I'm trying to bend her here so she, there, so she stopped. And then I quit as soon as she stopped and then I clucked as soon as she stopped. I did both at the same time. And I'll give her a moment to chill out here. But we gotta get rid of that um, whip anxiety um, because this is just kind of part of how, you know everyday life for a horse. So going to shows, lunging other horses, sensitizing the other horses just part of the deal, but I do get why she'd be afraid of that. There, so let her relax. There. So she's coming back down fairly quickly, so she's not like still revved up and got her head up and freaking out, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to try again. I'm going to go very light. She still was like, eh, no thanks. So I went down a step, just tried to just toss it without making that whip sound. So I'm just gonna wait. So I'm not gonna let her drift too far to where my whip can't touch her. That's another reason of why I left the halter on and I'm not doing this at Liberty. I want her to stop while this is happening. There you go. She's kind of like, oh, you're not going to die. Okay, that's great. Well, maybe not. Because I don't want her to think it's a place specific type thing. Like, oh, if I get to this place, I'm safe. Lots of horses do that when they go to the gate. They're like, oh, I'm safe at the gate. I'll run to the gate. So I don't want her to run because this is the closest place it is to other horses or she was stopping over here because it was close to the gate. I want it to be, I thought through this and then I was fine, not I ran to my safe place and I was fine. I've really never had one this bad as far as the desensitizing goes, so that'll be interesting. This is... Um, I would definitely never ride her yet or any horse that's this bad just to toss a whip over. It's kind of unsafe. Well, I'm just, gonna, just kind of giving and taking on this. Push that inside leg away from me. There. Okay, so she did stop at that other place. But right now, she's offering that stop so little that I'm going to take it. Ideally, I would like it over here, but 
since these are where Rhett and Rain are and this is the gate, um, it's more likely going to happen over here, but I'm going to take what I can get. So I'll give her a minute. I was really happy with how she progressed with the rope though. That went well. This we're going to need to work on a little bit more. Okay, so she's nice and relaxed. I'm going to get back in position and just very lightly, no whip noise. I like her. I should have clicked a little bit before she wandered off, but I kind of missed that. So all the noise she's getting is when it hits the ground. It's not making that whip noise, but um, I was hoping she wasn't going to break into a try either, but. I mean, she's slowed at least. I'll take that. I don't want her nose away. There. Okay. So she is stopping in the same place, but she let me put it on her while she was stopped. So I'm going to not let her stand here quite as long as I did the last few times. Okay. So she's done chewing. I'm going to go back. I just want her to think this through. This doesn't mean run off. Good. Okay. So she was standing still and I tossed it on her a few times. But she's really getting stuck on this one spot. So I don't really want that. I'm not really sure what's setting her off exactly. Like I'm not sure as far as what retraining she did, I know she's had, good, okay, so she broke, so I'm gonna not toss it on her anymore. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, you relax, pressure goes away. But as soon as she gets back to this spot, it's gonna come back. Because she wants to be in this place. Because I think she's just kind of more reacting than thinking through the issue. I don't want her to feel trapped, so I'm trying to give her a little bit of... <laughs> ah, that's the thing. There we go. It's the head. Aha! She has an issue with her head. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, that's what it is. Is So, when I went to look at her, um, she pulled back in the cross ties and broke the cross ties. So, I knew she was going to be um, needing some training in that department <laughs> as far as that goes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, excuse me, that's ridiculous. Um, I don't want to run in tiny circles forever. I'd like her to move, but this is getting a little ridiculous. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make it harder on her to run. Um, so I let her escape, and she's just kind of, you know, I don't want her to run to death. She's so I'm gonna make the circle smaller and be like, hey, this is going to be hard work for you if this is what you want to do. Okay. So she's going to, I'm going to let her stand for a second. So she had that pullback issue. There you go. Um, in the, in the barn. I don't even know why she's going right now. So be like, excuse you. Excuse you. Because there, I wasn't doing anything. She was just like, see ya. They're like, um, I'm over here. So let's pay attention. <clears throat> when I, yeah, just chill. Um, when I first saw her, she had that pullback thing, and then when I, I tried to, I went to go put her out, and I kind of set my hand on her pole, and been like, hey, can you put your head down before I take the halter off? And she wanted to kind of pull back to that as well. And I'd be like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I let her move in the beginning. But she's just, you gotta give them the option. And she's taking the option of, I'm just gonna run and run and run and run. So sometimes the option is good. And they'll be like, okay, I, I'm done. I don't wanna run anymore. 
yeah she's not going to be like that so i'm going to be i'm going to put a little more pressure because at first that pressure is giving them a choice and then when they run out there they got the choice and that's pressure in itself is that running around so i'm going to up it a little bit be like yeah you want to run around you can run around but then i'm going to kind of bump on you a little bit and i'm going to make it a little bit more worse because some will go into that like flight is what they think they're supposed to do so it's kind of a fine line there but anyway so she has a pull issue so at least we saw that that's what it is but i'm going to aim for her withers here and that mouth is going let's bend that hip away from me that's better she's walking that's good okay so she'll stop i'll take it away but she's uh i can touch her head um, she's got something going on there where she doesn't like that pressure on her pole. So we'll get that fixed. She wants to walk off. She's got to learn that this is not a big deal. This is not. <laughs> not a big deal. It's just a rope or a whip. Something. Okay, I'll take it off. But she's still, she's still nervous. Excuse me. hip away so I'm just gonna kind of wait her out here because I'm putting not a lot of pressure and she's reacting way too much than the amount of pressure that I'm putting on her so I don't want that hip near me I don't want that hip near me so safety is always before anything else so She's like, she's gotten slower, that's fine. But she's gotta have that hip away from me. She cannot have it near me. That's just, she can't do that. Okay, you can see her nose and her mouth and she's got that twitch going on, like a nervous tick kind of thing. It's not cute or adorable, it's nervousness, they say anxiety. We'll get rid of it. Okay, give her a minute. And I'm just gonna, there. So, get a starting point here established. Be like, hey, this is the behavior I want. She stood here, tossed it on her. Great, that's exactly what I want. Like, just chill. Because <laughs> um, I wanna tackle the pole issue here, but we gotta get the withers first because she's associating on this side, neck pull area is all kind of attached here. Good. So she thought about leaving, and she did. So that's perfect. So I'm going to kind of, if she'll let me and if she'll stay, um, I'm going to give her lots of treats for just kind of standing still and chilling out. So. There we go. Good. But see, in the beginning, I did let her go and run around. I didn't grab her from the beginning, but she had plenty of time to kind of think through that and be like, oh, this is harder than this. But some horses, they, especially her, because I think um, like she's got a fear based thing. Yeah, it's when it flies back and hits her in the face she didn't really like. Um, they'll just think that that's what I'm supposed to do. Good. So she blinked her eyes there. So, oh, see, I got a bunch of treats. Give her some grain here. Oops. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be immediate with the treat because the click was marking the behavior. You don't want to be too long, but if it's like that where you're kind of got to get it, it's not a big deal. I wouldn't be too worried. Okay. Good. So we're just staying on the withers. Yes, it's scary because it's kind of touching her on the head when it goes by. Good. So she blinked. Very cool. My rule is I usually um, let her chew it and then I'll start again. If they need more time, I'll let them, but I, um, I think she'll be okay. Good. 
so she's cool. Good. I'm just gonna wait till she blinks. She's still got that whip going, or or not whip, uh, nose. See how she took it and then she kind of held it. So like they'll take it and then if they're still kind of worried <clears throat> or they might be listening to something else or they're distracted, they'll hold it and like hold it in their mouth and not chew. Okay, so I, th I think she's getting over it here. She can revert, but she seems a lot better than when she started. So let's make sure <clears throat> that we can get this on her neck and she's cool with it. There we go. And not try not get it to touch her head. Wait for her to blink here. Oh, I kind of missed that one. Good. Okay. And I'm just ignoring. So I want I want her head away here. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna help her out. Be like, hey, remember where that goes? There we go. rocking here we don't want to just step on okay so move her back over here so you guys can see her okay back in my safety position and then just work on this with her again good so she's got the twitch in her lips still but she's standing so that's an improvement so I'm gonna move up the neck a little bit Oh, got her face, but she didn't run off. That's good. Good. Wait for her. Good. Okay, so I could have clocked that when she um, kind of got it on her face, but then didn't go. I kind of missed that one. But um, with clicker training, it's not a big deal. Um, you want to get most of them, obviously, but if you miss one every once in a while, it's not the end of the world. Good, okay. So I'm just going to kind of work my way up now that she's relaxed from that wither up to her head and hopefully work through that. And then we'll go back to the other side and make sure it's not a problem on that side. That girl. And she's kind of away from that fence now, so it's better. I like her nose point a little bit, okay. Okay, so I think she was just confused there that, that she wanted to go, or I wanted her to go. Okay, so she's still got that nose and the head shaking might be associated with this because I don't really see any bugs. I'm gonna wait. Okay, so she blinked her eye. So ideally, I would like it to be that she's not shaking her head, not moving her lip around, and blinking her eye. But I'm gonna do it kind of in stages here because I don't think I'm gonna get all those at once. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the wither here. Okay. So she's good on the wither. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Move to the side of her. I don't know if she's just really sensitive. So I'm about the middle of her neck is where I got. And that butt needs to get out of here. I don't know. Good, okay, so she didn't blink, but her head was still. And her nose which is twitching. So I'm gonna take that. And so like, same with the desensitizing when I was back in the ground, I was here and then I worked my way up. I'm at the withers, I'm working my way up. So I got to the middle of the neck, she didn't like it, so we're gonna start back at the withers. So we're at the withers and she's like, eh, I'm gonna move. Okay, so she stopped moving, so we're gonna start over. Okay, we're at the withers. We're good. I don't, this is like a strange, <laughs> <laughs> reaction to the whip. I don't think there's a ton of bugs, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we're getting back closer. So I'd like her to blink here. So she's a little distracted. There. Still got that mouth moving. You're a strange one. Okay. 
back at the wither. She's cool with that. A little bit in front of the wither. A little bit more in front of the wither. I think seeing that come down from there toward her face kind of bothers her. Good. Okay, so that distraction helped me a little bit there. So obviously I don't want to train her to be distracted. Um, I'm going to have her but a little um obviously I don't want her to be distracted but she was distracted enough at the other horses that she stopped moving that lip and she stopped tossing the head and I want to reward that she could be distracted here a second <laughs> Rhett and Rain are playing <laughs> okay so wither good at the wither a little bit in front of the wither Girl. Perfect. Okay, so she got a lot quieter there, so that's pretty awesome. I felt like she was a lot quieter with her neck there, and I'm gotten a lot closer to her ears. So we get this fixed. Move on to the next lesson. Some of these can be like, why are you being so specific? So I think the thing that is happening is when it comes over, she doesn't like seeing it come over into her other eye and then somehow affects her face, but I just don't want that to be me. I'm coming up there. I'm not coming toward her face, obviously, but it's just safety. I want to make sure she's cool with all these things. So I just want her to be safe. And this is just one of those things that to ride, she's got to be um, just to sensitize all these things. So. Okay, let's hopefully finish this up. We've got withers. We've got a little bit farther forward. We've got a little bit farther forward. That was really good. There, okay. So, I'm gonna give her like two treats and some grain because that was perfect. So I'm not gonna push it with her today. There's other things I wanna work on. Um, I'm just, I don't want to overdo a lesson. So we went from the running and running and running to this. So I'll be cool with that. I will, I will practice this some more until she's cool with it. So I'm going to stop with this desensitizing the whip on this side. I'm going to check it from the other side just to make sure, kind of see, cause I don't remember that happening on the other side. So we're going to check it out and then we're going to desensitize the sound and then she'll start to go in the round. So let's check it out on this side. So same process here, we're gonna do neck. Okay, so she's twitching her face a little, tossing her head a little. There, it touched her head, but she didn't relax as much. Still tossing. Still tossing, I like her just blink. Touched her face. Trying to go slow here. Good girl. Still hasn't blinked. There, okay. So it seems to be just that side. Um, I'll check tomorrow once we, when we do that tomorrow with her. Um, I'll check back in the film because I don't think she reacted as much. So this could be just from things going into that right eye from the left. Um, we're touching that side of her pole because she's cool with me touching it. I'm um, not really sure, but I'll have to check that and see what it is. Um, get it fixed. But now I'm just going to go ahead and move on because I don't want to work on that forever. So hopefully she'll be cool with the sensitizing the whip. So we're going to go low energy. Pay attention to the horse. Move it up. She's cool. She's cool. So I'm going to keep going. So she's getting a little tense now. Thinking about going. Wait for that eye blink. There. Okay. So that's perfect. I'm going to up it just a bit. So I'm going to increase this. That's not really that scary, but this is her first time doing it. So I'm going to make sure she's cool with it. You got to have a starting point. So I'm going to go a little bit, um, a little bit louder with the whip. And then we'll just kind of end it if she's cool with that and do the other side. Okay. So a little bit more. She's cool. So I'm just slowly moving it up, just about a foot each time. She's got the lip moving, but she seems overall relaxed. 
so I'm gonna wait. That's about as close as I'm gonna get. So that was the eye blink. Her lip stopped twitching and compared to yesterday, I will take that. It could regress tomorrow, especially if the, when I desensitize her to the touch of the whip is better, then she might get worse on this. Cause I kind of worked on this already with the face thing when I added the sound. Cause it's a different sound when you get it on and take it off, it pops a bit more versus you smacking the ground with it. Okay. so. Same thing this side, get my um, length of rope cracked straight out. We're doing low first, and we're just kind of scooting up about a foot each time. She seems cool with that. So, you want to pay attention to your horse and where your whip's at. There you go. Feet her away from your body so she doesn't learn to mug you. Always have my hand straight out and she can have the treat there. So that went well. So I'm going to um, go a little faster to like a medium-ish speed, low medium, and then we'll get her moving around in the round pen. All right, so a little bit more. Move it up. Seems cool. She's not twitching her lips. She's got her ears moving though. Wait for it. Got partial eye blinks. Try and keep it the same place and still look at her without smacking her. A lot of multitasking. Okay, so she put her head down, but she was blinking her eyes. So you don't want to just reward the, the head down because they can force it. Good. Um, but it's, she's got to gotta be blinking their eyes. Cool. So I'm happy with that. She went from the running and the worried to this. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take her halter off and just do some round pen work with her. Okay. And this kind of is going to, she's not too touchy when I touch her head, but um, that's going to serve as like a little break too. So we went and desensitized, give her a little break. Um, and she'll have a few minutes to kind of chill here while I get everything ready. 